All right, so we're going to do a quick intro to the VIC-3 light. This is a junior version of a VIC-3 intercom. Uh, in this case, we have a master control station light hooked up to 24 volt power using a CX13468 power cable. Typically, these connect and come in from the top. For whatever reason, this one goes straight back. So this one would need to be mounted on the far right side of a radio deck to allow clearance for that power cable. Uh, there are three set, well, four settings, including the off setting on the MCS. Uh, you've got off, intercom live, intercom Vox, and listening silence. The position I prefer is intercom live uh, for use in a Humvee for civilian purposes. You have radio interconnect here that you can connect a CX-13473 or CX-13489 to a St. Gars radio. You could probably connect it to other radios, but I don't know much about that, so uh, that's not going to be covered here. Uh, direction is important when it comes to the interconnect cables on these systems. Uh, here we have a CX-13470 connected to the station in Accordingly, the other end of that CX-13470 needs to be connected to the station out on the crew box. This first crew box is a uh, light crew box, meaning it's a two positions, two users can connect headsets here. We only have one connected here for demonstration purposes. They're connected through a bailout cable that then connects to the headset here. Uh, common headsets are the Recall uh, RA5000 or Raptor, um, the Bose Triport, the uh, Bose H374 CVC crewman headset, and some others. But again, direction is important. Station in here connects to station out here. If the station out here and the other end of the cable was connected to station out here, this would not work. Uh, same thing if it were connected to station in here station in here. So keep that in mind as you wire your system. Uh, you have adjustable volume. On the light crew station you can also adjust what radios the uh, um, user will work. In this case because we're not connected to, head, to any radios we're going to get an error signal when we go to key these I believe. So you can probably hear that tone. So anyway, I just keep it on intercom uh, if I don't have any radios connected, which I don't here. These can be daisy chained, so you could connect another interconnect cable here from station in to another crew box station out. One thing to note, at least I've noticed this um, in the units that I've seen, is that in the dual user crew station, it's specifically labeled station in and station out, whereas in the full function single user crew station, it's just labeled station and station, so you kind of have to make sure when you're using them that uh, you've got station out and station in figured appropriately. In this case, I've gone ahead and labeled the out on this side. I believe that it's always on the left side, uh, station out, therefore station in is always on the right side, um, but that may not be the case. The full function crew station, which I do not have connected here um, to this MCSL, but it does, it, it works just fine with the full, with the uh, light crew station. The full function crew station allows you to change volume, change the radio that you're working, change the radio that you're monitoring, and uh, gives you various intercom settings, push to talk, live, box, or override. Um, so you can see that's quite a bit more functionality for the user than you have on the light crew station. So although you can use connect two users to this, uh, you have more functionality here. There's also a vehicle push to talk here that um, I know can be used in tanks and other vehicles. Uh, I've never used it in any of the VIC-3 intercoms that I've done for civilian use, but um, worth noting the difference. And it could have been connected from this station in over to this station out, or alternatively from station out to the station in here. Uh, if you have enough cables, you can develop a complete ring. So you'd have station out to station in, 
station out to station in, and then completing the ring back to the master control station. So I uh, hope this preview was a little bit helpful. Uh, if you have questions or if you're looking for parts, uh, shoot me a message. Thanks.